Hello, welcome back to our Ostra of Alpha 3 Let's Play. This is episode 11. It is January of 1731 in our town. Right now in the queue we have seven houses and church. We're not going to worry about the church just quite yet, but it's going to be a while before they get there anyway. Uh, one thing we need to start off by doing is we have all these windmills built down here. Let's do something about them. These aren't even set up. I'm not going to stock them with 500 each. Let's do 100 each. Get them stocked up, then we'll hire some people and start making some flour, because honestly, I'd forgotten about that to this point, that we uh, hadn't even started producing flour. And people haven't really been compl complaining about food variety, but, you know, it never hurts, right? So we'll just check all this. We have five of them down here. I think we currently have the manpower to have five separate ones. And we are going to double check, make sure all of these animal buildings down here are set up correctly, that they're not taking wheat away. I think we should be, uh, yeah, we should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hire some guys. If memory serves me correctly, we might still have some guys working at the fishing docks. And we do, so guess what? You can uh, go do something else. You can go do something else. And our boatman, nobody working there. That's fine. All right, so those guys, those six guys, five of them should probably come down here, and maybe we just have one other guy doing something else. Let's check these guys. So I did start moving some um, cows down here to activate this cow shed because they'd supplied it. Uh, this cow shed also had a couple cows coming in. I don't think they are fully down here. Yeah, there's uh, one of them. I think there's another one down there. Yeah. No, that's just a person walking, but that is a cow coming on down. We'll get that stocked up. This pigsty has nobody in there because they all died, because I'm a genius. Stable's still looking okay. We need these to breed, but they haven't bred yet. The wagon sheds are awaiting draft horses. I don't really feel like buying draft horses. But otherwise, these are set up correctly to not be using wheat. Very good. And we have wheat available, so we should be able to go ahead and get these going as soon as, yeah, see, there goes that guy. He's going to be filling that up. Let's double check our animal production over here. Oh yeah, these cows are looking fine. Looking good. These chickens are we're going to remove, um, we're going to remove wheat from these guys. Maybe not quite yet. Yeah, there's so much wheat up here. I think we can safely have these chickens consume wheat. These pigs definitely should not be consuming wheat. This granary is fine probably wouldn't hurt us to build some more cart parking somewhere. The stable is looking good. No wheat there. No wheat there. I probably fixed this in a previous episode. It's, just, it's been a couple days since I played. I tend to record four or five episodes at a time, so excuse me if I don't exactly remember. Yeah, those chickens are... Chickens, I guess you kind of have to feed them wheat sometimes if you don't have enough sunflower or buckwheat production, so that's okay. These cows are looking fine. They can't even eat, eat wheat anyway, excuse me. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. And of course, they are continuing to build houses over here. And that's just kind of running in the background. That's fine. And this messenger I did buy uh, honey from before it became January, but we can't really sell them anything. We don't really want to, at least. Well, let's go ahead and hit our 12 times game speed. Oh, this is just a reminder. Uh, yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, I am continually posting new uh, videos on how to intersperse between all of these Let's Play episodes. I don't know exactly what the upload schedule for those is like, but chances are by the time you're watching this video, I have uploaded at least three of them. Maybe four, depending on how I choose to space it out. So if you feel like I learned a little bit about the stuff in the game, go ahead and check those out. They will be linked in the end card and then also on my channel page. So we've got all of these windmills going right now. 
looking pretty good, generating some flour. And this will be nice because it allows us to actually sell flour in our market that's been in a, no, I clicked on a person, that's been in these uh, market stalls for the entire game pretty much. The past 10 years, yeah. Wow. Happy 10 years, I guess. Yeah, so now they're getting they're getting flour from these guys that are grinding it up. And that should help a lot with our economy, because we can sell that to the uh, uh, the citizens. These people are out of money. That's not these people. It's No, I have a hard time clicking from real far away. All right, so we've got these houses being built before. Okay, let's slow this down again. I want to put in another farm before the planting season starts, because we're going to need a lot more wheat. Well, we just we need a lot more everything, really. So I think it would be a good idea to put another farm right about here. What do you guys think? So I'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and turn this around this way so we can access it right here. Let's try that. We'll move that way up. I know this probably drives you guys up the wall watching me rearrange the queue, but that's fine. That's just the way I prefer to play. There's other people that are putting out Let's Plays that are also good and they have different preferences. Maybe someone plays the way you like to play. I like to watch a lot of them and learn as much as I can. There's no shortage of that. Anyway, let's have them uh, build this farm, and then we'll lay out some fields, probably most of this area. We'll do our regular seven field rotation that's working out so well. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let them uh, build this farm real quick. Do a, a nice quick little time lapse for you guys. As the sun melts the snow off, our farm is complete, so let's go ahead and pause real quick. And you know the drill. By this point, we just need to make sure that this is adequately supplied. For oxen, just go ahead and hit that. We will uncheck hire men, because why not? Hire a manager. There we go, pause it again. It still hires a man for some reason. Order a plow. We don't have enough oxen, that's fine. Hire someone here. And now we add fields. No, I didn't want to click there. Hold on. All right, so we found out that using the smaller fields seems to work in our favor. So we're going to go right to where this turns into three on a side. Oh, it's not going to let me put it there. Okay. It's like every time I put a farm down, it does this. It's, it's probably amusing to people watching this thinking, oh, well, this guy's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, come on. All right, it's like a sitcom at this point. All right, let's do our three like that. Ah, there you go. We'll go to here. We'll go right there. Add another field. Make sure it's still paused. Good. Because I'm not always intelligent. We can make this guy a little longer this way because he's less that way. We can... uh. Make that line up kind of nice with the houses right there. Or as good as I can get it to go, at least. And we'll do that right there. Put a third... Well, actually, we'll leave a little bit of space here. We'll do this. That way they can move back and forth. We'll do... Maybe not quite that big. Let's do right here. Now, someone on the subreddit, and by the time this episode gets put out, that post is probably going to be a week old, at least. But someone on the subreddit was asking how to get straight fields and straight building layouts. What I like to do is you see these recurring patterns here. I don't know, depending on the resolution you're watching it. But the grass pattern is a repeating tile. So I like to kind of match these up. Not necessarily just directly straight into the uh, pattern per se, but I do like to have the uh, things set up in a way where it 
Well, you can judge it. What, what's occupied? Okay, it doesn't like doesn't like me starting this field here. Why is that? Because okay, it let me do. So it lets me place the first one, but it doesn't let me place the second one. All right. So uh, this oh, people are gonna lose their minds over this, but we're gonna inset that a little bit. Go all the way out here. Just try to line it up. There you go. And we'll do our seventh field. No, we'll do a sixth field because I can't count. Yep. I am intelligent. I went to college. Okay. So there's six fields. We'll do one more. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's only do six. I kind of like how this works. I know it's not the uh, ideal layout. So I have already forgotten what that order is. Okay, potato, wheat, buckwheat, fallow. Got it. So we'll do potato, wheat, buckwheat, fallow. Same here. Same here. And then we will do one more of that. And then we will do two of the sunflower hemp fallow. And then we should be good. And we just have to remember to advance these appropriately. There we go. We've got that guy and that guy. And then if we really want to later, we can add a seventh field, but this should be okay. We'll do activating on all of these. We will take one of the plows from that farm. Is it not gonna let me do that while the game's paused? Maybe not. Oh, it's because that one's in use, isn't it? All right, so I guess it's not going to let me do that, but that's fine. We will just have to have our laborers plant these fields by hand. But we did get it in before the start of the season, so that's good. And then, of course, once this is all stable, we'll put some more animal facilities right here. But that's a, uh, a nice, not super crazy uh, little farm right here. Let's not forget to put a platform in so we can supply that water. Uh, okay, we've just, uh, we probably should put another well. Uh, so in real life, earlier today, about an hour before recording this episode, I actually released the how-to guide on water, wells, and platforms. So I've still got some of that on my mind here. So excuse me if that's stranger out of place for you. So I think right over here would be a good spot to put another market. I know uh, we have different clusters we're building, so we'll put a thing right there. Let's go ahead and build a granary right next to the farm. Easily accessible. There we go, that'll be nice. We can just keep moving this church back because we don't need that until we get to 300. Uh, we'll need uh, cart parking. We can put that right there. Very nice. If I can place it, there we go. Yeah, just keep putting that guy there. So these six houses will get built. By the time those six houses are built, then we'll put in all the water stuff. Uh, it could be harvest time by the time the granary is built anyway, so... Let's uh, go ahead and speed this up. Yeah, we've been uh, <laughs> about, depending on how long it takes me to reduce the time lapse for the farm, we could be 13, 14 minutes into the episode at this point, and it's still March, so we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get a move on here if we're gonna have a reasonable length for this episode. But I think I'm more, I'm more concerned ultimately about quality versus adhering to any sort of ideas or timelines or whatever. I like to make sure that what I put out is at least palatable, if not entertaining and enjoyable. Feel free to let me know your thoughts, as always. The comments are always open. And uh, 
And if you like the video, like them, subscribe, share even, or just binge watch them all at once, because what else are you doing right now, right? Anyway, so that's all good to go. And our windmills are making flour. Well, most of them. Beautiful. And our greeneries are... Okay, that one doesn't have flour assigned to it. Is this one... I don't think any of them do, really, because I haven't ever made flour. So maybe we'll just put a bunch of uh, flour in this guy when he's done. All right, so I went ahead and added in this granary, I took milk away because the cow shed's right here, so that's not a very far distance, and I added flour, so that will be in stock right there. Uh, this house got built. This other house is in the process. Our farms are in the process of being sown. Of course, plowing was skipped because they don't have any cows or oxen. These uh, cow sheds are moving along. Oh wow, we've got <laughs> we've got plenty of uh, bulls to make into oxen. So we've got one, two, three, four. We'll do five, six. So there's our oxen right there. So it'll be a little too late by the time we get these from our carpentries, but they'll be ready for next season. I should have thought about that, but not always smart, as you may have guessed. So we can actually go ahead and do uh, two more bulls. Um, yeah, we'll do two more oxen there. This guy will be... Okay, he's already old enough to breed. He just turned one. Good. We're moving right along. So we just have to make sure these are all good to go. These farms are planted. I believe these are all planted as well. These are looking okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And this is our fallow field right there. We only have one fallow field in this farm. Technically, we could have two, depending on what cycle it is, because I didn't put the seventh field in, but... I might put the seventh field in at some point, just didn't feel like it right about now. All right, so one thing we need to figure out is the uh, production of tack, because there's not currently very much, and they don't have any leather here. They won't get more leather until June, and then they're getting another batch in August, but these people are out of salt, so salt is problematic in this game at this point because there's not the ability to actually make it. And this granary doesn't even have it. I think people are buying all of the salt. So if we make it less convenient for them to purchase salt, then I think that would uh, help us out here. Okay, so I can replace salt here. Let's do... I don't even remember which ones I got rid of. I think it's uh, everything except dried fish. Yeah, we can take that away. I'm not going to take it away completely, but I do want to make it more difficult for them to buy it. So I don't want it to be stocked at every single market. So we're going to keep it here. And then... We will probably take it away here and put it on this one. So let's go ahead and, if I can click right, yeah, let's take it away here. Not like we have, ah, five salt. So the reason I took it away from this one is because our tannery is right here. And it's the closest thing to the trading post, which, of course, currently doesn't. Wow, we're making pretty good, uh, pretty good stuff here. So we can actually start stocking. Oh, why does flour not show up here? Hmm, that's weird. Maybe I actually have to have flour for it to uh, show up as something I can stock. That's uh, that's weird. All right, we have a messenger. Honey, I'm always going to buy honey. Well, let's just go ahead and buy wheat. It's cheap. Uh, chickens. Don't really need textile. We can make. Do we stock sunflower for export? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Um, so can't do that. We still haven't managed to make any lime. 
I don't know. I don't get it. The last playthrough, we didn't really have a problem with uh with the. I mean, there is stuff in the lime kiln. Like you can see down here, there's some charcoal, and it looks like they're gathering limestone. Well, there's a uh, ten thousand fifty nine limestone. I guess our villager uh, laborers don't really care about uh, stocking this stuff up. So that's uh hmm. Disappointing, to say the least. Let's uh, let's incentivize them. Put that up to 110. I know a lot of people don't really like that style of play, but uh, we need lime. They're complaining about food variety. Well, uh, have you tried going to the market? I don't know. That might that might work. Okay, people are dying. That's like the third one I've seen. So we're gonna need to come over here. And start building more uh, more stuff. So I think the front door to the church is like here. So I'm gonna start double stacking these burial plots. And oh, I hit the right button the right time. Good. So we're going to make ourselves a little graveyard here. I think this is about as straight as we're gonna get. So let's do right here. You know, it won't be it won't be perfect, won't be amazing, beautiful, but you know, sometimes in life it's the thought that counts. Including when you're making a graveyard in your seventeenth century Ukrainian city building game. Alright, so remember when I said it was straight? That is definitely not straight, or at least not all of these are on the same plane here. So this is uh less than ideal here. And if it's if it's a little ugly, who cares? It's the thought that counts. So we're gonna put that there. Right here. I, I guess I probably don't need to be super min maxi on space here, but I like things to be tidy. Judging by a lot of the other let's plays I've seen, other people like that too. <laughs> There's people that have a much better much more developed grid systems than I do. And I thought I was anal about this stuff. Whoa, that did that dude just walk out of a grave? What in the... Where did you come from? The windmill worker. Um, okay, that's really freaky. That's weird. That dude just... I'm, I, like, I didn't, I didn't just make that up, right? That dude just appeared out of a gravestone. That's weird, man. That oh, that that's freaky weird. That's um, I don't like that. Oh boy. All right, so that's uh sufficiently weird. I'm gonna fix this. This game's really sensitive about the edge scrolling here. All right. You know, they're not perfectly straight, but I don't think I care. All right, so now we have enough burial plots to last probably another five or ten years. Hopefully, I don't know, population could be getting older. So stuff is growing pretty well. We have our uh, plows already. They've got no money, and now they have money. We're looking pretty good. I am pleased with this town. I think it's uh, coming along pretty nicely. And I probably time soon to start thinking about opening this pigsty back up. So what if we took a... oh, none of these pigs are even a year old. So let's take a boar, put him here. Let's put an eight-month-old adult pig and another eight-month-old adult pig, because there's plenty of food stored up here. And that was about it at its limit anyway. So it's looking fine. Where do these people complain about not having money? All right, well, here, have some money. Okay. So this carpentry has orders in queue, metal parts, forestry is doing its thing, they're doing their thing. We have more houses being built. We have one more house to be built for right now, and then they're going to start focusing on some of this other stuff. We are at 250 residents. If I remember correctly, the previous Let's Play for Alpha 3 that I did had uh, just over 400 before the economy kind of crashed and people just left. And that was at episode 14, 13, 14. 
I think I only ever recorded 14 episodes of that, but uh, we're on track to maybe be a little slower in population growth than the last one. At least in terms of uh, number of episodes, in terms of time played in the game. I know that was a lot more time in that game. But I think this is a much nicer town than what we used to have. All right, you can have some money. We are... Oh, the game is still stuttery really bad. I don't really understand why. But, you know, it is what it is. Looking fine. How do these guys do? Okay, there's no flower left here. That's, uh... Hmm. Is that because it's in... The, whoa, oh, well, I, okay, I clicked the wrong button there. Uh, flower being sold here. Wow, we sold 647 flower. This market stall, that's good. How do you have... Okay, you have you have money. You Okay, there you go. Now you have food. All right. These people are poor. Not that one. Oh, you have no money. How are you both unemployed? There's so many open... Oh, you know what we didn't do? We did not rehire men at the fishing dock. So we can do that. Not like it really matters. But we can uh, make sure that's good to go. Our town hall. We have all the builders hired. I'm. So, I still kind of like this. Uh, this little area right here with the original, the OG campfire from the first year. I think that's a neat little, neat little area. These trees when they grow. These I'm telling you these cottonwood trees. When they grow up, they are just. They're so tall. I love them. And these areas are looking pretty nice. I like this uh, little square right here with all the markets and everything. This greenery is looking pretty good. The warehouse, oh wow, yeah, 226,000 wood. That's a lot of wood, kids. Now this uh, this batch should be, yeah, okay. We had a, uh, yeah, we had a batch that was completed. This, sh okay, they've got, they should have leather. Is our shoemaker taking all the leather? No. All right, what's this uh, messenger have? Always buy iron. Ugh, our smithies suck so bad. We'll buy nails, we'll buy charcoals. Uh, hmm. Do we have... That's right, I was never able to... Okay, now I can stock flour. So let's go ahead and stock flour. I don't have a need to sell right now, but we can in the, in the future. Uh, I'm not going to buy any animals, I don't think. So these guys have tack at least. Okay, well not all of them. Some of them have tech. I guess that's an improvement. So I guess they, they need more leather. Well, they're going to get more leather. I just really need someone to come on and offer me some salt. But, uh... Oh, God, this stuttering is terrible. Maybe that's just like a thing that happens in the game at high uh, higher populations. I know this is not necessarily high population, but... I don't know, there's some weird... Weird graphical stuff that really doesn't happen in this uh, computer with anything else I do. If you know what um, Cinebench is, the R20 metric I just ran, I think my score is a 6,877, which is reasonably high. It's not like the fastest thing ever, but among probably what most people are running in a gaming PC, it's probably higher than that. So I don't understand why it continues to have problems. No. Maybe there's just some weird thing that's uh, messed up and weird. Well, that was a scientific statement I just made. Weird thing where things are messed up and weird. All right, well, this is why I went and got myself a uh, writing degree, or journalism, technically. Um, all right, so let's uncheck our men here, hire someone. Granary, so we can uh, slow this. Eh, you know, we can leave it running 12 times speed. It's August. And I've got about 28 minutes so far. I want to keep these under, or as close to 30 as I can. You know the drill. Beef, milk, chicken meat, chicken egg, pork, sallow, I think is how that's actually pronounced. I don't know. I feel like it's different every day. Let's, uh, hmm, let's not stock salt here. Let's not stock fish. Let's do flour. Let's do sunflower oil. Let's do buckwheat, and then the last one. I don't think we don't we don't need to do honey. We can keep honey at the uh, trading post. Or maybe we do because it's so far away. Oh, we don't even have potatoes. We have to do potatoes. Okay. 
Now, someone suggested just making all of these like 99 million, but eh. It's kind of ugly when you open it up and look at it, and also it's never going to get past a thousand realistically unless you just have game-breakingly good resource supply. Anyway, that should be fine. Cart parking, order some carts. If anything, we probably don't have enough carts, so we're going to turn off production for this guy because the farm can just go down there to the platform. People can't drink out of that. And I fully do not expect this to get anything anytime soon. But we are we're harvesting, looking pretty good here. Got a nice selection of stuff. Our windmills are getting stocked up. And these farms, yeah. So I think we might be at the point now where we can start, no, not two, 200, thank you, where we can start increasing our, is that 2,000? 1,000. No, I don't, I don't want 1,000. I want 200, thank you. Apparently, I'm not very good at clicking. There we go. 200. There, huh? And the last one. Very good. Okay. So that's looking fine. This warehouse is looking good. Smithy is functionally useless as always. Probably one of my least favorite buildings in the game. Uh, okay, so this batch, we have 200 hide right here. Please, for the love of God, get more leather in this set. Oh, I can do 5,000. Uh-oh. I'll tell you what we can do is we can put this guy's down to 1,000. Derkachi. I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. Do you have any salt? You do give me all of your salt. Would you like to buy some shoes? <laughs> we have <laughs> 420. We have 420 shoes. And I'm like 15, right? Um, Can't sell you any of that. We're still not producing lime, are we? Oh, well, at least they're actually gathering. Oh, they're building the church. I know I've shown this in the last, um, the last Let's Play I did. But I think the church is one of the most interesting new buildings in this uh, most recent update. I think it's it's a very well-designed looking building here. And these people are getting stone, I'm sure, from way over there. So once the church building is built, we can actually go and build our little graveyard area right here. Or at least put the fences out for it. This will be a nice little uh, aesthetically pleasing area of our town. Once they... Oh, wow. Yeah, the church is... I forgot how uh, labor-intensive this thing was to build. So we'll, we'll come check on that later. Just wanted to go... Okay, so this actually has progressed. That's good. Barely. I mean, this is supposed to be all the way up here. They have everything right here. I don't know why they're not... Hmm. I guess I just have to have people living over here, or else they're not going to want to uh, do it. Anyway. So let's double-check all of these. This guy, yep. Pretty good harvest there. Pretty good harvest there. I think a lot of it is getting routed into the granaries. Yeah, it is. Okay, and this is looking... Yeah, that's a really good harvest there. Not bad for a first-year harvest. I know people are reserving this food and getting it taken out. But our sunflower stock's looking pretty good. Let's double-check our oil workshop. Yep, still doing its thing. These guys are doing their thing. They're gradually stocking up the trading post with all the sunflower oil, so that's fine. I am surprised I just kind of placed this clay pit very early game in a random spot. It seems to work out pretty well with the grid pattern right there, so that's that's fun. That's nice. Not enough leather. You're telling me that after all of this... Wow. Do they at least have tech? Oh, no, the uh, wagons all need repair. Okay. All right, well, you know what? You can have some help. At least the horses have tech. About to be out of tech. All right. This guy has way too much leather. Or way too much ability to have leather, at least. I need the saddlery to... Uh, do their thing. All right, so the church is done. And it is uh, early, middle of November, so we are coming to the end of this episode. It'll be a little longer than 30 minutes, but it is what it is. So we've got 
church on the peninsula right here and here's our little graveyard so let's take our thing get it lined up and we're going to put some uh some fences in. let's go for fence number four the the premium fence which we'll do right here actually no let's put the big arch right here in the middle uh, 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 let's get this lined up. Why did I rotate the thing and not the building? Uh, as close as I can get it to line up at least. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll do right here. This is still not straight. All right, so church can go, or the arch, excuse me. Yeah, that's good enough. It's not exactly perfect, but eh, nothing ever is. So we'll do our fence all the way. People just keep coming out of these gravestones. Is that to look at, is that just a glitch? Now let me know if you've ever seen anything like that before. That's just it's weird. All right, so there's our graveyard fence. Should stop people from. Walking around, give us a nice little uh, little area right here. So let's, now these probably won't ever be used, but let's go ahead and put some benches. I don't know, this is, a, this is interesting. This little uh, trapezoidal section right here is like early, early alpha, like alpha one. All the buildings used to have this little triangle uh, dead space out here. So that means I actually can't put uh put benches up right next to the building. That's uh curious. So all right, we're gonna we're gonna forgo those benches, but we have our uh snow covered church area now, but now we have our burial plots, we have a little fence. So that's that's coming along, that's looking decent. This will be just about the last stuff we do in this episode, but let's just uh check and see how we're doing down here. These pigs are still not breeding, that's fine. Cows haven't bred yet, that's fine. But we're looking pretty stable. I cannot believe how stupid I am. There's two there's two male horses here, and I've been wondering why they haven't bred yet. Oh. There's only one female horse. That's uh That's a problem. Have any of these horses died yet? No, they have not. I think horses do eventually die. So uh let's hope we get some more female horses. But we are, otherwise, we're looking pretty good. I am, suffice it to say, I'm pretty satisfied with this so far. Let's just take a look. Uh, our little empire just keeps growing more and more every time. These people still don't have any money. All right, we'll fix that. But that's just about all the time we've got for this episode. Sorry it was a little longer, but hopefully it was still just as good. As always, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, leave a comment, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I might want to improve on. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss anything else, and check out all my uh, tutorial videos. It's a di little bit of a different change of pace from the Let's Plays, but I still think it's some pretty good content you guys might enjoy. But anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll see you next time.